I am very excited today about having Hippolito Claudio as my guest in my food channel. Today he's going to show us how to cook um, chicken cutlet with rice and beans, Puerto Rican style, and he's a professional cook. He's from Puerto Rico. And I'm happy to have you. No, no, it's been a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure of mine and an honor to have this opportunity to um, show people how to be doing rice and beans, Puerto Rican food with uh, chicken cutlets. It ain't just you get knowledge to have it for yourself. You got to show people. You got to show them how to cook or explain to them and they learn something. They get to catch an ear. But it's been a pleasure for me, man. It's, it's an honor that you give me this opportunity. You know, and have the audience so they can see some Spanish food, and not only that, that we share our knowledge with our, with the food, and it's a privilege. And I thank God for that. Hey, I just want to say uh, thank you. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna get started. He's gonna get started now, man. I hope you enjoy his cooking. As soon as you see that food, it's gonna be like me. My, my mouth is gonna be watered. It's gonna be beautiful food. Thank you, Paul. So he's gonna get started. Amen. Four cups of rice with four cups of water. Right now I'm gonna pour four cups of water, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of salt. So I get the salt gonna be out of there. And I'm gonna add one, one spoon of oil. Is the way it's gonna be. That's that's perfect. That's just like that. That amount. And vegetable oil. I can use all of it, olive oil, but I'm using vegetable oil. We put it in medium, medium heat, and we just cover it this moment and wait till it boils. Wait till the water boils, and then we're gonna pour the rice. Now that the water is boiling, I'm gonna add four cups of rice. But before you add the cups of rice, I rinsed it out, I have it here because I rinsed it out to wash out the chemicals, the bleach that they, they use to prop or process the rice. And make sure that you wash out the rice to clean out the chemicals. It'll be more healthier for you. Stir it, and now we cover it and give it at least around 20 minutes so the rice could be cooked. Now that the rice is dry, I'm gonna stir it. It's been there for already 20 or 10 minutes. So we're gonna give it another turn. It's gonna be good, believe me. You cook it like this, it's gonna be nice. There's different ways that they, people cook the rice, or anybody cook the rice, but this is the way I learned, and it's gonna be real nice. Now we're gonna, after I did this, so now, I cover it back, and we're gonna wait now 10 more minutes. Well, the 10 minutes has passed by. It's a total of 20 minutes. The rice is already cooked and look how nice it came out. It's not stick, it's nice, it's real nice. Now you can tell it has been past 20 minutes and it doesn't stick. See how nice it is? It's nice and nice. Let me see how and it separates and it's all nice. When you serve it, it doesn't stick, it ain't stuck and nothing like that. And it's nice and smooth. See how it comes out? And let me taste it. Mmm, yes, right. And well, now the rice is done, and now I'm just gonna start cooking the chicken. I'm gonna show you how to fillet the chicken breast that we're gonna use, but it's very important the position of your hand and the knife that you use, because the knives are real sharp. Even this, this knife is real sharp, it's brand new, and you gotta be careful, because if you make a mistake, you can cut yourself. See, nice and smooth. You got your dad right in a nice fillet. Mm -hmm. You see? And once you're cutting it, uh-huh. Once you're cutting it, you see? 
You're gonna have a nice fillet. Put your hand on this nicely. Uh huh. Nicely. And you bring it up. You gotta be careful, you see? How it comes out. Real nice, a nice cut. But remember, you still gotta be careful. And it's still cutting. And you don't want a fillet of your hand, you want a fillet of a chicken. <laughs> it's gotta be nice. And now, I'm just gonna marinate the chicken. Got garlic paste, two teaspoons. It's got, it's got the spoon. <laughs> Some adobo with pepper and, and salt. And then I have some sazon. Sazon Goya. And these products you can get them in the, in the supermarket, in every uh, Goya, Goya area. Just marinate it. I want to seal it. Nice. And once it sizzles, I'm just gonna flip it along one more time, turn it around, and now you give it five minutes and you lower it down. You have it to medium, a little bit less than medium. We get five minutes each side. But why I, I when it sizzles, when I just put it on and it sizzles, I just want it to seal a sizzle. I just flipped it, so I just want all the ingredients, all the nutrients that it has, then it has a good taste. All right, it's been three minutes, but I just want to turn it around because I had it in high and I don't want it to get burnt. But then see how it looks nice? Hmm? Uh, we're gonna wait four minutes more, and we'll flip it again. All right, you see how nice it looks? I'm gonna turn it over again. To give it at least two minutes, two more minutes. Now look how delicious it is. It has been cooked, and now I'm gonna serve it. These are the basic ingredients that I use to use that you can cook Spanish beans. And um, you can go to any uh, regular. I use usually I use um, fresh beans, but today I'm using from the bag. But today I'm just using the goya in the, in the can. You can go to the any Goya section and it says small red beans. And I use garlic paste, garlic paste. I use sazon, two, two, some, two little packages of sazon. Use one green pepper, onions, and salami. But basically in Spanish, we call it a salchichon. And these are the um, basic ingredients that we're gonna use to make the Spanish beans. Now I'm about to start making, cooking the beans. I'll put one cup of water with two teaspoons of salt. You gotta mix it good. Be all right. Nice. You gotta put the beans. Now two cans of beans. It's gonna come out real good. You see all you see? <laughs> You're gonna love this. I just have my mouth watery right now. It's being with this rice, the beans, and the, the chicken. And now we're gonna have the sausage, which is sachichong, that's a salami. Uh, onions and peppers, green peppers. And now we're gonna have three tablespoons of garlic paste. Mix it. It's gonna be nice with the garlic paste. And we're gonna have two packages of sazon. You can get this any Goya section. The sazon is gonna give it a good Nice, nice color. And you turn the heat on. And medium. Put the heat on medium. Believe me, I'm waiting till these beans come out. They're gonna be real great. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have about 15 minutes medium. 
medium heat until it boils and they're ready. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna wait now. Wow, it looks beautiful, delicious, and it smells great. It's past 15 minutes already. Look how, look, look how nice this looks. Don't it look delicious? Huh? Because it smells real great here. Let me have a little taste. Mmm, real delicious. Now the rice is done, the beans are done. Now I'm gonna serve the, the food. The rice, the beans, and the chicken cutlets. I'm just gonna do this right here. I'm gonna flip it. You gotta be careful, cause it's, it's gonna be real nice. Have it right there in the center. Put it to the side right there. Now I'm gonna serve the beans. And it's gonna be delicious. You got the red beans. <laughs> I have my mouth water here ready. It's beautiful right here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pour it. With the gravy and everything. So, and now I'm gonna put the chicken. I'm gonna put the chicken on top. There. It's gonna be nice. It's beautiful. Real delicious. And here you got it. Your rice and beans with chicken cutlets, and it's great. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching, and it's right there, it's real beautiful.